yeah, yeah, I think it would be great because it's because majority of the students that come that were coming here helped with it. So coming back to visit and stuff, I'll remember. Oh yeah, I went to school with those people that did the children bowl, <laughs> and yeah, I think it's cool because it's part of the cultural and it is and First Nations. I think it's been a long time coming. This is something that we've wanted to offer for quite a while, and as a as a First Nation school, I think we we were really looking around the building and we wanted to see that visibly throughout our school. And we thought that the best place to start would be with the exterior. And so we looked at what sort of um, what sort of cultural pieces could we add to our building that would really welcome students. And the first thought that came to mind was a greeting pole, a greeting totem pole. And so that's where we sort of uh, began the project. And it was really important to me as um, in working in adult education that this be a student-driven project and so we just happened to have uh, two wonderful experienced carvers as, as part of our student body this year so it seemed like a great time to uh, really sort of provide them with this opportunity to contribute to our school um, environment and and to sort of have it it in an open and accessible place on site so that anyone coming by, community members, other schools, um, adult center staff, and students to really be participate and learn and have a hands-on uh, cultural opportunity throughout the year. The spiritual openings are very, very important. It's part of our protocol. As a matter of fact, people would be very critical if we didn't open up major events in a spiritual way. We are really a holistic people, heart, mind, soul, and spirit. And we usually always open up sessions with a, with a prayer in a spiritual way, calling upon the Creator and the ancestors to be with us as we do, we move through the workshop or the seminar or the, or the celebration. It's, it's everywhere. They would either use the big house or the shaker church. And over there you had Lila and Dan who are really, really staunch shaker church people. Dan and Lila are very staunch in the Shaker Church. And they were doing a blessing method that was wonderful. So they asked the Creator and the ancestors to stay with everybody that's involved with the totem pole until it's finished. Um, how did you get involved with this totem pole carving project? Well, I was going to school here. Kendra just came up and asked me, said she was building a fun thing for it. And seeing if I was available, I'd love to do. I really want to thank Kendra for giving me this opportunity to work in my own community for the first time. I worked for other bands and other tribes. Fortunately, I got to work uh, in other countries. So, but this is the first time I've ever got to work in my own my own homeland. That totem pole is going to be amazing because the students have actually worked on it themselves. And that makes a big difference. There's, there's a whole sacredness around totem poles and a whole sacredness around cedar. Cedar is very important to our people. We make, we make um, our canoes, our totem poles, all kinds of art <laughs> is made with cedar. So it's amazing. Cedar is a very sacred piece of wood for us. I was say we used to use totems to tell our our story of who we are and where we come from. And a lot of the work from I guess from around here had to do with the Great Flood 
and how our people tied themselves to Lavalna with a cedar rope and they tied their canoes to the top of the mountain to survive the great flood. And now you'll see you know, Coast Salish using rope on the, on the bottom of their totem. And the same with the totem pole that we're, we're doing right now. It, uh, it's a welcoming pole. And it's, it depicts uh, the teacher and the student. The teacher is saying, welcome to our territory. And he has his hand on the shoulder of the student. And the student has both hands at San Haichiko to the people. And we had some space on the bottom. So we decided to put rope on the bottom of our pole to represent level of and the school here and, and the hat is a very traditional Coast Salish hat which I had seen in the uh, uh, works from Simon Charlie so I guess when we talk about Coast Salish we have our own themes we have our own stories everybody has a story to tell That's, a, again, another really good question. Retention, attendance and retention uh, continues to be a troublesome issue in at our centre, but also in adult education centres across the province. Uh, it's something that, as adult learners, we balance so many different responsibilities, whether it's schooling or work, family, culture. Um, and so it's difficult for a lot of our students to commit an entire year uh, to upgrading. And so there are a number of different supports that we do try and put in place. And I, I think the Totem Pole Project is one of them. It was uh, something that began as a bit of a pilot to see if it was uh, as a form of engagement, as another opportunity for students that might want to take a break from English or math or their upgrading courses and head downstairs and get to know our carvers and um, and use their hands and practice something cultural uh, while sort of balancing those academic courses at the same time. And I think for some of our students, this has really worked this year. What worked for you to make you stick out the whole year? The instructors, they are very um, helpful. They are very great with you and their understanding. Um, like, if you're just open and tell them what's going on, they'll, they'll do their best to try and assist you with whatever it is that you need help with and they're great support. I'm just, sometimes I'm just like, I miss everybody when I don't, when I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> miss all the people. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I guess you have to learn to trust everybody and be comfort with them before you can really get the feel. And then once you get that out of your way, it's really awesome. Yeah. There's no borders or cards up. It's just, ooh, hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My self-esteem in the past year has, I built it up a lot more than I did last year because before I never would have thought I would be where I am today and um, it's because of the instructors too they you know they they push you and they help you with that self-esteem like you know you can do it and it's not that hard oh come on <laughs> and it like it helped me so much to build up my self-esteem because before I had very little self-esteem for myself and um, I just, just like I said before, I want to be the role model for my children and if they don't see me with the self-esteem, you know, um, they'll probably think the same way and I don't want that <laughs> for my kids. <laughs> Have you, was there any 
events in your life that made you feel like school might have been too hard to go back to um, this past year? Just on the outside where there's where community facts or whatever, that's for me what was number one that made me stay back a little bit. I did stay home because I've seen your homes and done. I remember it again why I was registered for school so I had to come back to catch up and I did it. I caught up. He was very comfortable, very comfortable over there. And he had awards. I think he had two or three. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, that goes to show you when we feel comfortable with our educational journey, what we will do. And that's why I was thinking, saying to Kinder, the photography class, the uh, DVD, would be amazing, you know, for you guys. Because it could show people how comfortable you are. Because obviously you're feeling very at home and very safe and very involved with what you're learning, what you, you, what, you know about your education. And, and I think those, that course could be a good advertisement for what happens to our people when they learn about themselves, when they're involved with their own history, culture, value, values, language. It shows you what happens to them. Mm -hmm. That's really good, yeah. education and, and those today that are, are with us and uh, continue to commit their lives to education. It's always an honor for me to speak on behalf of the Santa School Board. Oh, 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 oh. sing. When you sing, you bring out a good spirit from here. You bring out something good that our people belong to. I want to encourage the students. You see the ground here, right from that old school. Marie remembers that. We went to school there. And now you have all of this, my young people. Person of the Sanchin School Board, and um, it's a great honor to be here today to witness this uh, beautiful event today. 
interesting. But a pole always has a reason for raising, and I really appreciate the carvers that put their hard work into this. And to me, it really, you know, to each one of us, it perceives something different. To me, I see that pole and the, and the, the person holding the shoulder of the son and always being close to him and teaching him education. Because education is every day, and it doesn't stop at grade 12. It keeps going and it keeps going. And you got to you got to dream big, dream big. Twenty years from now, all the students here, and even my, even myself, I have to push myself to dream. If we don't if we don't dream, we die. So I just wanted to encourage that today, and that's what I see in this poll. It's there for a long, long time, and I love this learning center here, and it's a place of learning, and we have to pass it on to each one to encourage. Because I believe that every one of us have a mouthful of goodness that we could encourage our kids. So I just I want to just just uh, push that out there, and I, I love you all. So God bless. This, this carving here, this good work, this good feeling here will be looked after, that it wouldn't be destroyed in any way, or defaced in any way at any time that we'll be able to stand there and look after this this part of the land and the people coming and going here. That's the heart, the feeling of our relatives here, the good work that they have made for the people of this place.